Hello, hello, hello. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Nice to see you, Miel Fox, Northern Vermont. I'm in my Subo studio in New Hampshire. And hey, hi. So we got snow coming, but you know, I haven't been on for like a week. You know why? Because I wasn't listening to my body. And man, I got myself pretty run down, tired, and sick. Can you still hear it? It's still there. Hey, Nita. Nita, I got to tell you, I'm wearing um, elephant leggings and a uh, pink and white herringbone pencil skirt. Um, I wonder how I got that. So thank you very much. It's very fashion. So here I am. I'm at work. Uh, I got to tell you guys, I have been fighting and battling chronic bronchitis, cough, cold for two weeks. And I thought, oh, I'm getting better. You know, I'm doing really good. Well, I got home from work last night and so tired. I mean, so tired. I got home at 630, made dinner, cleaned dishes. At quarter to eight, I said, oh my gosh, I'm done. Like, I couldn't think straight. I couldn't actually make a whole sentence. I was so whooped and tired. Went to bed quarter to eight, and other than getting up to go to the bathroom, because uh, I'm trying to hydrate, I basically didn't get up till 5.30, so that's like almost nine hours. And I'm, I'm kind of a five-hour girl, so I thought to myself, wow, you know what? I think I've been trying to push through, push through, push through. I have not been listening to what my body's been telling me, which is you need to slow down and get some rest. So what am I here to say this morning really quickly while I'm at the office? Um, those little signs that we're getting every day from your body where you feel like, oh, I feel, you know, a little tired or a little this, a little that, maybe under the weather, maybe not 100%, whatever it is. You know, we try to push through and ignore it. It is your body's way of saying to you, I need to recharge. I need to slow down. I need to, you know, get my, my batteries recharged. And so you can be your best. And when you don't do that, I mean, look, can you see how watery and, and just like, I'm just not with it, right? My eyes are like, bleh. It is really not doing anybody any good. Uh, because your idea of I'm pushing through, quite frankly, makes you work at less than 100%. It makes you less available for your friends and your family and your coworkers. It makes you unable to really do the very best job that you can be doing um, for everybody. Whoa, my defrost is a little cray-cray, sorry. Uh, so I'm going to suggest to you, I understand we have responsibilities and jobs and family, but I'm going to suggest to you that when you start getting the messages from your body about maybe you're a little overtired, maybe you don't feel the best, maybe, you know, you feel like you got a little something coming on, that's the early signs of pay attention and do a little self-care. When you try to push through that, guess what happens? You're going to get super sick, which is the bigger message of you weren't listening the first time, so now I'm going to tell you a little louder the second time. Um, I'm just saying don't go there because, man, it takes you down for weeks on end, just weeks. So self-care is really key. Uh, I'm not saying being unavailable for anything else, but self-care. Do the things that need to be done. Stay hydrated. Get your rest. You know, pay attention to your body. It's talking to you. Pay attention to it. It knows what you need. So, on that note, I haven't been here for like forever, right? Um, so, happy Tuesday to everybody. Uh, it is three degrees. Yay. Heat wave. And we're about to have another snowstorm coming through. So, stay safe wherever you are. And uh, hopefully it won't be another week before I check in with you guys. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Nice to see you all, by the way. Happy Tuesday, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.